as a festival, we've been proud over the years to be able to meet Mainers where they are to show outdoor adventure and conservation filmmaking. And right now people are at home, <laughs> um, you know, so we are fortunate enough to leverage technology and be able to bring uh, programming to folks at home. You're doing this in partnership with the Maine Land to Trust Network. For people who aren't familiar with it, what is that organization all about? Um, well, the Maine Land Trust Network is, um, yeah, it's a coalition of land trusts throughout the state. Um, you know, land trusts obviously are organizations that look after land that is to be preserved for, for use in all kinds of different ways of recreation and, and um, stewardship for future generations. You guys have had to get used to adapting during the pandemic. I know the last time we talked back in the summer, you were modifying the main outdoor film festival. So it was sort of like a drive-in experience. And uh, now you're doing the streaming experience full on. It's, you know, just the only way that you can adapt, right? Is what you got to do. We're really happy to be able to do that. You know, we didn't know if we were going to have to pull the plug, you know, the day before, but in the state of Maine, we actually did a really good job through the summer of, of being COVID compliant. And, uh, you know, people showed up with face masks, their own chairs, their own food. And we were lucky enough to be able to pull that off. We're going to be doing it again this summer in 2021. But these virtual screenings were something we did during the festival too, for folks who didn't want to come um, in person. And we're happy to be able to extend it to the off season here. Let's talk briefly about some of the films that you're going to be showing. We'll begin with one called Taking Care. Tell me a little about this one. Yes. This is a short featuring John Connolly, one of the forefathers of the Main Island Trail. And it takes him around. Um, it's just a short film, but it takes him to, it follows him to an island. And he, he does a little bit of hiking and explains from his heart about, about why he's so involved in land conservation. The visuals are amazing, as you'd expect from, you know, coastal Maine kayaking. On to another film. This one is called Amazing Grace, The Little Olympians. What's it about? This is just a wonderful slow motion film about hummingbirds. And it's just a great chance to see what it's like to live in your life as a hummingbird. Um, it's wonder wonderfully done. It's made by a main filmmaker, Roger McCord. And I think people really get a kick out of it. And one more a documentary called Lessons from Jeju. This, this film is wonderful, Rob. It's a, it features uh, Kimmy Werner. So she's a, a free diving legend here in the States. She went to Korea, to South Korea, to hang out with septa octogenarian Korean divers who are many, in many cases, fifth and sixth generation um, shellfish divers. They've been earning their livelihood just like their mothers and grandmothers. And it's just a wonderful story. They don't share a language but they share the language of diving. And it's just, it's just a wonderful piece. Um, I, uh, I think everybody is gonna enjoy it. And before I let you go, Nick, let me just ask you a question about what is in the pipeline right now for future documentaries. Obviously filmmakers are not able to go about their work in the traditional way because of the pandemic. As you look out like six, 12, 18, 24 months, will you be seeing the normal number of documentaries that filmmakers want to have shown at festivals, or are we gonna see a bit of a, a dip? You know, luckily with the outdoor and conservation themes, you can safely get outside with a one person crew and get a lot of that footage still. Maybe we're gonna see more voiceover um, used instead of talking heads where, you know, in, in the past you might've gone and interviewed somebody in person, but instead you just kind of have to, you know, do it remotely or just use writing with your own voice. So I'll be interested to see. So far, we're in about 40 or 50 submissions. There hasn't been an all Zoom film yet. There's still a lot of stuff that you'd recognize, but I think you're right. Maybe 18 months from now, we'll start seeing that work come on board. Who knows?